I'll fill the head about 80% full of BBs. This is what gives it its dead blow characteristics, which prevent bounce. Now I can glue on the last layer. I'll clean up the head as much as I can with the flush trim bit, and then finish on the edge belt sander. I'll add a 3 8 round over to the top of the head and an 8 inch round over to the ends. If you wanted, you could glue on leather for a softer surface. I'll use a file to blend the handle round over into the head. And I'll finish the mallet with a couple coats of shellac. So this design can be modified for whatever sort of mallet you want. Here I have a smaller one made from thinner plywood designed to look boxy with my logo on the head. If you want to make one like this yourself, there's a link in the description to the Inventables project page where you can download the SVG file. So why did I fill the head only 80% full of BBs? Well, here's a little comparison. If I hit the table with this mallet, you can see it bounces a little. But if I hit it with this mallet, it doesn't bounce at all. Let's see that again in slow motion. The first one was packed full of BBs, and the second one was only about 80% full. I'm not playing any tricks here. This is really how much difference it makes. When you swing the mallet down, all the BBs move over to one side. And when the mallet hits, all the BBs hit a split second later. This makes for significantly less bounce than if all the weight hits at once. And all the energy used on that bounce is a complete waste, so basically the mallet doesn't hit as hard.